hello and welcome back to another video so in this video we're gonna talk about how to create custom placeholder images for your website for your projects and everything so I'm gonna be showing you two methods here one is by using HTML which is coding and the second method is by using an online tool or a website okay so that next time you don't have to break your head if you want to create custom placeholder images so without wasting time let's begin all right so open your code editor we're gonna do this using vs code so this is first method using html so i don't have any code here so i will type uh, the basic code which is doc type html i will give the title as hello world and uh, i will give a body tag and uh, you can skip this step and directly go to the fifth line which is adding the href so to add the placeholder you have to add a tag which is a href tag and in between the invited commas you can enter the website that you want the image to take you so for example i will type my website so the image we are creating is gonna take to this website if it is clicked and like always i give the target attribute as underscore blank because i want all the clicks to open in new tab and next we have to add a image tag and in the source just make sure to add this website https viva.placeholder.com just uh, take down this website slash type the dimension that you want for example let's say i want an image with the dimension let's say i want an image with the dimension 300 by 600 or otherwise 600 by 200 okay this is this looks perfect 600 by 200 so just type the image dimension here and put a forward slash and now if you want a background color for this image you can put a forward slash and type the color code for the background for example i will type ff0000 and then put a slash and type the color for the text so the te text color is uh, let me keep it as yellow and then you have to select the format so to select the format just type dot png dot gif or dot jpg whichever format you like i will go with png and now to add text you have to give a question mark and type text equals and enter the text here for example i will write this text here and uh, to add space you can use plus icon so if you add plus icon it will give some space and after that if you want to give a alt text you can do that because alt text is used when your image is not loaded and then save this and run this code let me reload this page and as you can see our image is ready and uh, if i want to change the color of the text i can directly go here and i will change this to white now let me reload and you can see that our text color is changed and if i click on it it is opening in a new tab that is because i have added target attribute here after the url you can see target equals underscore blank so if you add this tag so if you add this attribute it will open the link in new tab and then just make sure to remember this website and enter the dimension of your choice and if i remove the colors and run this page you can see it is taking the default colors no problem with that and then you can change the text here if you want to change the text to something like your text here you can do that from here just make sure to save the code and then run the page you can see our text is changed and what else and then if i click on this image or banner it is going to take me to this website 
so this is the website or the link that is gonna open in a new tab because we have uh, added this link with the target attribute so very simple I will leave this uh, code in the description you can find it from there and just copy paste it in your code editor or in your if you're using WordPress you can paste this in the custom HTML and use this function so that's about the first method now let's move on to the second method it's very easy just go to dummyimage.com and in the size just select the size you want let's say I want uh, 400 by 200 and you can change the background color from here I will give the background color as uh, blue so I will type 0000 ff and then if you want you can change the foreground color and change the format of the image and you can also type the text you want to appear on the image so you can see just click on this link and save this image and start using this image for your website and your projects if you want you can read all this documentations and learn more about this website and uh, so that's about it i showed you how to create a custom placeholder using html and using a free website called dummyimage.com if you found this video helpful don't forget to give a like and subscribe and and if you want more videos on wordpress and online marketing you can explore my channel thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one take care bye bye